Hello, everybody, and welcome to this video where I am going to completely contradict everything I said yesterday with a caveat. It's not a complete contradiction, but I'm going to tell you the type of people who should be submitting to a, journals and online journals and magazines and stuff like that. Now, again, if you are doing fiction of any kind, if there are magazines that you like, that you read because you enjoy the work that is in those magazines because you read them for pleasure, then yes, submit your stories to magazines. That's fine. But we're gonna be talking about poetry for a minute here. But actually, before I do that, let me say one more thing. Because MJ left a comment on today's video, which was yesterday's video for you, about writing for themed collections. And that is fun. And if you're writing something in a community to where everyone's getting the same prompt and you guys are writing together, I mean, not together, but like you guys are all under the gun for a common goal. That's fine. Do that. I'm talking about actual fucking like magazines, journals, things of that nature. Now, let me, let me, let me bring you in here a little bit. Let's get a little closer here. Let's chat. If you are have an MFA, you should probably submit to journals who care that the people who they publish have MFAs, okay? MFA people should submit to those journals because that is the world that you have decided to be a part of, okay? If you are someone who teaches at a university Yes, submit to university presses because that is the part of the world you belong to. That shit matters for those types of people. So if that's what you're doing, definitely do it. Knock yourself out. I'm not saying you shouldn't do that. But if you do not have an MFA, if you do not teach at a university, there really is absolutely no reason to do it. For those of you who sit there going, you know, but self-publishing just doesn't look as good. You know, it's just like, mm, fuck. If you think that, you have to change your mindset and change it really quick or else you're going to spend the rest of your life not doing anything. And then later in life, you're going to like regret the fact that you didn't do something. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I've never heard of somebody like on their deathbed go, God damn it. You know what? I really should never have self-published that book. <sighs> I've never heard anybody say that. I have heard people, I mean, I haven't really been around that many people on their deathbed, obviously, but I have heard like much older people talk about how they regret not just like taking the bull by the horns and just doing something when they had the opportunity to do it, okay? If you don't want to self-publish because you're not motivated, that's fine. If you don't want to self-publish because you think there's a stigma on it, you're an idiot. And that's like, I don't know, like 15, 20 years too late. Because I'm going to let you in on a little something here. Most journals, especially online journals, you're basically self-publishing through somebody else. Like there, there's no difference. It's not like most of these magazines have, it, we don't have newsstands anymore. It's not like you can go into a drugstore and there's like a magazine rack with all these magazines that like your mom can see your name on the cover of a magazine. Like that doesn't exist anymore. Hello, welcome to the present. We're glad to have you. The future's just right over there. Everything's fine. Like this whole thing where people like live in this weird time machine where they're trapped in the past. The Kindle Gold Rush was over 10 years ago, guys. It's a different world. Like, get over it. Fuck, dude. All right. So anyway, back to the people who should be submitting. You definitely should be doing all that stuff. Another caveat would be if you are being asked to pay 
to submit, like, don't do it. There's no reason for you to do that. Oh, but, like, they said they have to, like, you know, pay readers, you know, to, like, read the submissions. That's their fucking job. If you don't want to read submissions, don't be a fucking editor. There's plenty of fucking jobs you can get that actually pay you good money to not have to fucking read anything. Tons of jobs out there. If you don't like being an editor, don't be a fucking editor. But what you definitely shouldn't do is pass the buck off to the people submitting their work to you. Who the fuck do you think you are? We've, we've talked about this before. I've bitched about this before. Okay? So that's ridiculous. Do not spend money submitting your shit to places. And then some places are like, well, you know, this separates the wheat from the chaff. Like people who are really fucking serious, you know, fuck you. It's a cash grab that you are trying to take advantage of people who really think that maybe, just maybe, someone will validate their work. It's fucking disgusting. Don't fall into that shit. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, that really pisses me off. But anyway, so if you are an MFA person, if you teach or if you want to teach and all that shit then yeah, go through the system of like dinosaurs that do that whole fucking thing. It's, it's a, it's a shitty community from what I hear. Like everyone acts like they love it until they're just talking to me and then they talk mad shit on it. But it's like you, you do those things. You get asked to come to these other things where other people like that hang out Everybody stands around, acts really nice, and then turns around and talks mad shit. Motherfuckers either read or they speak on something. Maybe somebody gets an award if you are like a minority or um, a woman or anything like that. Um, a bunch of old white men will parade you around and go like, look, I'm cool because I know this person. It's, it's a fucking disgusting joke. And if that's what you want to do, because that is the system you're in, then do that. And I know I'm making it sound like really condescending and shit, but if that's what you're in, then that's what you're in. But if you are not that person, if you do not have an MFA and you are not in school and you are not trying to get an MFA, don't worry about all that shit. It will not help you. Because guess what? If you don't have that MFA, you're already like a low-class citizen compared to the people who think they're better than everybody. So just fucking do it yourself and make more money than them. Have more readers than them. Nobody actually reads their shit. It's just like, oh, this person has pedigree. Who fucking cares? You're not a show dog. You're a fucking poet. Poem. What the fuck? So anyway, I hope this was helpful. If you have any comments or you think I got this whole bit wrong, leave it down in the comments below. I'm sure I'll be getting more comments on the other one and this one too. And if I do and you guys make some good points, I'll do another fucking video on this. But I would much, much, much rather spend my time talking about positive, awesome things that make you guys feel good, that make me feel good, that edifies all of us, okay? So join the crew. We have daily live streams throughout the week with a morning cup of coffee. We're setting up a Discord so we can all like shoot the shit and talk crap, okay? And there's gonna be tons of moderators in there. So if you're one of those jerks you're going to get the, okay? So don't try to get all, you know what I'm saying. So type hard, everybody. Join the crew. Go get extra, extra. It's a dollar on my Etsy shop, guys. Still to this day, it's a dollar. And a lot of the other books are going fast. Some of them I have more of than the others. But the ones that are going fast are almost gone. So a dollar. One dollar and you get this. That's how you sell stuff, people.
it wasn't hard and I'm still here. We're still here. Everything's okay. I will talk to you all later.